especially later on in life. You, I met a guy tonight on the beach, and I'm like, oh, let's be, oh, I just happened on Bumble. I was swiping on Bumble today, and the guy goes, I don't want a long-distance relationship, so if you want to meet and have drinks and have private time later, and I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> they if you want to meet private time? time. <laughs> yeah, we go, and I said, no, but I'm, I'm down to <laughs> hang out platonically, unmatched. I mean, I mean, it was that quick. Like, my nigga. at least like, give me a chance. Like, let's no, go out man. and see if we vibe no, before no. you just say that. But guys are just straight, especially. Yeah, well, well, I'm gonna go eat, then go home. Shit. Yeah, I should. Yeah. I should yeah. That is, that, that, that's no, precisely I, 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 why. I thought about it. I was like, oh, I should have just went and yeah. then just left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, and that's you, precisely why. Like, but, I tell guys, yeah. don't be platonic friends. Because here's the thing, right? Every single one of y'all has probably been on a date with a guy you didn't like that much, right? Every girl's done it. So the difference between like men and women with this is that we're never going to gonna go on a date with a girl that we don't find attractive. Nice. But you guys will gladly go on a date mm -hmm. with a guy when you don't find him attractive. So what ends up happening is no, you waste I time. Well, remember that well, value exchange I told you guys about before? What kind of value exchange is it where I'm going out with a girl? I, I'm expected to pay the bill. I'm expected to create this experience. Mm -hmm. I'm expected to to um you know plan everything out, etc. What do I get in return? Absolutely fucking nothing most of the time. But so I tell guys, protect your time, protect yeah. your energy. Don't go out with girls. Hell, I don't even think, I don't think it's enough for her to just find you attractive. I think you should only go out with girls that are high interest. Like, I, I think it's a big fucking waste of time to go out with girls and say, let me just get her to like me. Fuck that shit. Yes. Just become attractive enough where a majority Please. of girls will find you attractive but, mm -hmm. and then kick girls to the curb that don't like you because, you know, not to sound like an asshole, but I've always <laughs> said girls will waste your time if you let them. And like, hey, you were about to do it just today. Well, oh, let's hang out platonically. I thought he was actually very attractive. And I was like, but the fact that he had to say that. But let me ask you this. I wanted him to like. What if he said, what if he said this to you? What if he said, hey, you're hot, I'm hot, let's fuck. What would you have done to him? Blah. Oh, heck no. You would have unmatched him, right? Yeah. He did the same thing to you. I just <laughs> you just said it, you just said it the other way around. See? I just okay. wanted him to like, maybe, you know, like, You're hi. 38, man. Just fuck already, man. Just meet it. Listen. Hey, no, I'm 37. Let's not age, shit, age me. I just. Well, I said it's got to be a, a, a <laughs> denominator. Like. But, She's 38. But man. you're right. My brother I just got just... back on Bumble, and he's been to, uh, just recently divorced, and I tell him, you're going to be used for dinners. You're going to be used for drinks. Be ready. So you know. Oh, I absolutely we all know. Every girl here knows. We all have gone out like, eh, so at least it's a free dinner. Yeah. Oh, and then at the wood, fake up, make up a fake excuse to leave because you ain't yeah. going out with me. So that guy <laughs> no, didn't want to waste his time. I totally get it. I understand his. But I was like, oh, he was really good looking. and I, But I didn't like that he had to say that in a message. Yeah. I wanted to go to the date and be like, at least like, no, he's what smart if he's a person? What are you no, going to do? Yeah, uh, maybe smart. I would have actually, you know. But he's, no, he's, he's, he's smart for doing he's it like blunt. that. Yeah. But not, cause it, I mean, if you would have got there, he would have been touching on you. You would have been confused as hell. <laughs> at least he kept on being with you. So, hey, I, I prefer a blunt person to keep something up front with me. Like, oh yeah, I just want to do this Yo, instead listen. of me coming it's, around it's, and making it's, it's, Because here's the thing, right? So like, they did a study on this actually. Um, They had a dude walk around a college campus and they have him. They had him bluntly proposition sex to women straight up, right? Uh, you want to fuck? Hundred percent declination rate. Every single girl said no, no matter how attractive he was. But you flip it around the other way, girl walks up to guy. I think eighty percent of the guys said yes. Oh, yeah. you want to fuck? Eighty percent of the guys said yes, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that like when a girl tells you let's be platonic friends or let's just be friends, that's the equivalent to me telling a girl let's just fuck. Like it's wildly disrespectful, right? For a girl to tell you, uh, for a guy to tell you, let's just fuck. Yeah. So what if but I take the a problem is? Like hold on. The problem is, is that most guys don't have balls to stand up for themselves and mm -hmm. tell them, no, I'm not mm -hmm. going to be your fucking friend. Mm -hmm. And yeah. here's the thing: that part. That most That's girls right. would respect you more if you said that shit. Yeah. You know how many girls have said, "Oh, let's just be friends." I look at them and I laugh and I say, "No, are you fucking dumb?" <laughs> and then, and then they'll come back and try say, "Oh, you know, maybe we should go out." What the fuck? Like, uh, it's but just crazy. the fact that you put yourself in a position where someone has to tell you, "Let's be friends." That's again. That's kind of telling you that you don't have that. Well, so, some girls, here's the other thing, too. It's interesting because I'll talk to her. Oh, you're cute, but let's just be friends. Fuck no. Leave her, right? She'll come back an hour later. She'll see me talking to another girl. Then she'll say, oh, you know, maybe we should give a chance. I'll tell her, get the fuck up out of here. But <laughs> it's because it's because she saw me with another girl. Because, yeah. like, girls, right? We're not oh, like yeah. you guys. You guys need to see a dude with other chicks to be attracted to him. We don't need that shit, but y'all do. So, like, a girl might meet you at first and be like, oh, well, nah, nah. and, like, you guys like to play games. Let's be honest. Like, how many girls are I want to be chased? I feel like that grosses me out. I don't like when a guy, like, 
it's a turn off. Like if What's I, a turn off? I don't get jealous. I get turned off. Like if I see if him what? with another girl. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. me too. Really? I don't like yeah, that. Really. Oh, I find it attractive. That's a fucking lie. No, yeah. it, it is a be lie. Me. And I'll tell you why. No, no, no. <laughs> That's an absolute fucking lie. Definitely. And I love when girls say that dumb shit. That is not true. I Biologically guess. speaking, it is in your DNA. It's in your circuitry, your wiring to want to be with a man that could get other girls. So. I'll give an example. I prefer when he don't get girls. I Me love too. it. I okay. love it to myself. Okay, hold on. Let's go into a scenario. Let's go into a scenario real quick, right? Let's say Ask you meet... Let's say... <laughs> Wait. Let's say you meet a guy at the mall. Mm -hmm. You're going shopping at Zara or whatever. And uh, no, let's say Saks Fifth Avenue. Fuck it. You're looking at some Gucci bags. He comes up to you and he's like, oh, you're really attractive. I saw you from across the way. Had to introduce myself. What's your name? And you guys have a great conversation. He's attractive. He's your type, etc. He's not a fucking weirdo. He's not a bumbling idiot. He's successful. He speaks well. Hey, I'm having a social gathering with some friends. I'd love for you to come. It's going to be at XYZ address at XYZ time and day. Bring some of your friends. Feel free to bring your friends. I want you to feel safe. Cool. So you show up with four of your hottest girlfriends to this mansion, right, party. You walk in. Two scenarios. First one, you walk in, there's 50 dudes. Yeah. Five girls. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you and your girls going to stay or leave? Chill, Bobby, chill, Bobby. Um, chill. I honestly, I don't, I would rather not, I'm not a social person, so probably. Uh, you would leave. Okay, cool. Yeah. Second scenario, you walk in there and there's 100 girls, 40 guys. Leaving. <laughs> But he's there though, and he wants to talk to you. Are you gonna? Are you? We can your... be by ourselves. We can go on a date by ourselves. Like I really don't. No, care no. But be... he invited you to the party. I'm asking you. So first scenario, you said you would leave. Obviously, too many guys. Second scenario, there's a hundred girls, forty guys, better ratio. So it's like two to one maybe. Would you stay or leave, or would you stay longer at least? I don't really feel like it makes. Because the party's difference. jumping. Uh. Pete, you I don't know. You would just okay. Stay. You know what? Her inability to answer the question answers the question. I mean, notice I how when it was an abundance of men, they immediately left. Well, because men were make women... me uncomfy sometimes. Oh, oh. really? <laughs> okay. So, did you feel more comfortable with the women there? If they're nice. You're tricking my trap card. You're not going to sit there and talk to every single girl there. Let's be honest. You just see them. There. You so, triggered my trap card. Would it be fair to say that you feel safer in the scenario where there's 100 girls and 40 guys versus 100 dudes and 20 girls? Honestly, I don't feel safe in big crowds. I don't do well with a lot of people in general. Like, that's just me speaking, so. Please answer the question. Which scenario do you feel safer in? If you had to choose Neither, one. Neither, because I don't know one. any of these people. If you had to choose one, one or the other. Um... Girls, just just girls. Okay, then yeah, girls. Okay. Because I feel safer with girls. <laughs> bro, she tripping, bro. But Thank what? you. Thank you for asking the question. Especially, I sit back and watch the scenery. It don't matter how many people you around. It don't matter. I'd have been in big places where I have multiple people I there. <laughs> like I mean, like thousands of people, okay. hundreds of people. So, so, so this is a perfect example of what I mean when I say women just enjoy the pizza, but they don't understand how the pizza is made, right? You go to the club. You go to this mansion party, right? You find this guy attractive, etc., and you see a bunch of dudes there, and you leave. Obviously, for safety reasons, it's fucking weird. I agree, Thanks. right? It's gonna be weird. The guys are gonna hoard you. It's just not a safe environment. However, you show up, and then there's a bunch of girls there, and a smaller, minor, a smaller portion of men. Well, guess what? Now these guys kind of look cool because they got girls there. If you got girls there, that probably means you're not a serial killer. Probably means you're not a weirdo. Probably means you have some kind of status if you're able to get all these women to show up to your party, etc. There is a reason why all the girls are concentrated in the nightclub in the VIP sections, right? So there's safety in numbers, and women tend to look at that. So what I'm saying though is that you as a female don't understand that he had to build up the status, he had to get the invites, he had to procure the mansion, he had to have the, know the people that were throwing the party in the first place. Like, women don't understand any of this stuff because you guys just get to enjoy the fucking pizza, a.k.a. the attractive man. But you don't understand that the man had to get a certain dough, he had to boil the water at a certain temperature, use a certain sauce, get these cheeses imported from Ita Italy, etc. Like, women really don't know what it takes to be attractive as a guy and create a certain environment or what you guys call vibe. To for you to feel safe. That feels like a Diddy party, though. Like, all those girls. <laughs> oh, God. No Diddy! <laughs> no Diddy! Just saying no Diddy. <laughs> yeah, but it's that true, That scares though. me, too. If it's, like, a lot of girls, I feel like it's some weird stuff going on. Like, why do you have all these girls? Because the, they can. They can afford to spend fun money on there's them. There's a lot yeah, of girls. Point, like, you're, like, you're, missing, you're missing the point. The point I'm trying to make is 99% of women are going to feel safer in a social environment where there's an abundance of women over an abundance of men. So... 
what you said before, actually, I'm not attracted to that. That's a fucking lie because him having other women there creates an environment that's better, which is inherently more attractive. You might not see it that way, but again, women don't see what goes into attraction. I'm you attracted. guys just enjoy the pizza. You don't know how it's made. But I'm attracted to the environment, not necessarily him. That doesn't make him more attractive because he has the girls. I might stay, but that doesn't mean I'm going to date him. What does him. the environment purport? I don't know. Like that... Girls are there. I don't know. But what what does Why that what, what oh, yeah. does that convey? It does convey? give him some kind of value because he what? creates that. So. Okay. So what? I mean, what does that what does that signify? Like, that he knows how to get a bunch of girls in a room. But what does that show? I, again, these girls are kind of easy, so. Bro, you <laughs> stupid. On, Yo, it conveys you have status. Money and you have success. That does not make you a good person. Yeah, but it conveys status so that at least. I don't least... care about status. There you do, bro. I'll get the I, fuck I, up I out of here, bro, bro, man. I'll send your IG, man. Bro. And what about IG show? Who's yeah. dating? That's bro. like me. Dating? That's like me Titties. sitting here, bro. Like, when girls say dumb shit like that, look, 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 man. Look, with all due respect, that's like me coming in and saying, yeah, I don't like girls that have big titties. Like, come on, man. That's a fucking lie. Like, men are attracted to women that are youthful and beautiful, you know, large breasts, a slim waist, etc. Women are attracted to men that are tall and have status and money and a good jaw and good physique. Like, why are you sitting here lying about but biology? the last two guys true. I dated, I made more than. Like, they weren't the last guy. Oh, where are they at now, then? They're gone. They, they oh, couldn't handle you. it. Oh. Well, they handle what? They, where, where? they didn't... Handle what? They were uncomfortable with the oh, situation. Oh, so they broke up with you? Or did you break up with them? <laughs> they broke up with me. They broke up with you? Yeah. What would you do for them to break up with you? Um, Because they wanted to be the breadwinner, I guess. No, man, That's they, what they said. That no, I don't know. They, they want to get their they want to get their life together. No man, they pumped the dump, man. I deserve more. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, so they put it on them, themselves. Yeah, they fucked and they left. And then they just dipped. That's not just uh, me. Yeah, I mean that's, that's pretty typical for someone that makes more than their man. But um. So what redeeming qualities did they have then? Um, one of the guys, he was a handyman, and he was like, I don't know, he's really sweet. Like they were just good men. Like of course, I mean, I provide for myself, so I wasn't really looking for like them to provide for me financially really more so just like that male energy emotional support like everything a male or a husband can do for you outside of finances i mean they weren't like completely broke they just didn't make more so so let me ask you this was it their personality that attracted you yeah i love yeah okay so this might sound weird but I do see girls that are in, in the industry, like you're in, in uh, industry, and they prefer guys that are not in the spotlight because for them it's like, I make the money anyway, so I don't care. However, if he was inexperienced, then it makes no sense because he needs experience in the bedroom at least to make you come, right? And that is a status symbol. What? Like it all comes yeah. back to status. It's yeah. just like, you're not, you're, like you're only seeing one, two, three, but you're not seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Because again, girls just enjoy the pizza. They don't understand how the pizza's fucking made. You don't know what guys have to do to create that vibe for you to be for you to be attracted in the first place. And this is why, with all due respect, I don't think women should be giving dating advice to men especially because you guys don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about most of the time. Like, you can't tell a man how to be attractive to a woman because you guys don't even know what you're attracted to. Would you yeah. date a virgin? Yes. No, no, her. Um, oh, cat, man. I, I cat, haven't man. run into cat. a virgin. I that, I But know. would you really want a virgin? Be honest. Probably Stop not. Stop cat. Because you need experience. Yeah, I think sex is important in a relationship. So a man has women has what? A man who has women, I mean, has experience. Yeah. So Just there you go. Past, past women, yeah. Or are you talking about like having currently like a like lot of women, past or and like present, just in general? Like women actually want that guy that you're I, with. This is irrefutable. They've done this with with chimps too, and chimps are close to human beings. Yeah. They had a male chimp, right? And he was by himself. The female chimps were like, man, fuck this nigga. <laughs> they didn't want to have a mate with him. But when he had a female chimp with him, then the female chimps, when he had a female chimp, the other female chimps wanted him. Yeah. It's pre-selection. It's, so, it's, it's, it's literally psychology. Like, women are, in a, women are attracted to men that can, can attract other women. It's, it's the highest display of higher status and higher value. And girls need that. Why do you think, like, celebs and athletes that are ugly as fuck are still able to pull girls? And because they have girls. status and other, girls want, and other girls want them. That's how men are able to do it. But flip it around... We don't need status from a girl. Like a girl could be a no, no nobody, no Instagram, no clout, no nothing. But if she's attractive, we don't give a shit. Matter of fact, that makes her more attractive to us. So, I mean, I know what you're saying. Like, oh, no, status doesn't matter to me. But it actually does. You might not be able to identify it when it hits you. But, like, status does matter. I mean, him being a handyman is a status symbol. That's, yeah. <gasps> that is I'm, a status symbol. I thought symbol. you were talking about as, like, far as, like, wealth or, you know. 
Like, I don't I know think what she you thought. She status. thought you meant like if you're like a celebrity or like someone famous, famous but you mean true. status. Well, status is like always value. contextual. So because the status is always contextual, right? So like there's girls out there means like that fuck a dude that works at McDonald's. But why does she fuck him? He's the manager. So but, in the context, he has status in that social environment. But you're missing a point here. Again, you, you, I was just saying like, yeah, he has that status, but they're st he wasn't pulling no, hold on, women. Hold on. You know what it was, though? What? You just told me how they both ended the relationship, right? You, mm -hmm. know, what, you know what that tells me? What? They came in with an exit strategy because they're experienced with girls on some level. So they said, you know what? All right, she's making money. I'm going to have some fun with her, enjoy the experience. And then my exit. Were you doing OnlyFans at the time? Yes. Yeah, and that's, that's why I'm he gonna, left. I'm going to exit. The, all I'm due respect, it, I'm, that's I'm, why he left. And I put it on myself because, hey, listen, right now I'm, I want to make money for myself and her, but I can't. So I'm going to exit this way, and you were the exit goal. Yo, girl, girl, dudes almost never leave women, bro. Yeah. Like, guys rarely, I mean, think about it. How many guys have you broken up with versus you've been broken up with? 10 to 1 ratio, maybe? I don't break up. I've never broken up with anyone in my life. You've only been broken up with? I, I believe her, bro. She's pumped up. Well, uh, well, sounds wrong then. I know, guys pump and dump her, bro. She, Are you like crazy? Do you be hitting her? She nags, probably. She nags. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hold on, wait, question. You ever date a guy with more money than you? Yes. What happened to him? Um, they always have a lot of girls. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so okay. you left in then? Well... No, I mean, oh, I just... Okay. She says she never left any uh, guy that she's been no, with. No, they left me, but of course they tried to come back, but then I set the boundary, like, okay, well, you know, because I was never okay with the girls, but I was desperate to keep him. I thought but uh, I was never okay with, you a know. A guy with many girls turns you off, so... Yeah. Exactly. Why'd you stay? Because I was desperate to be loved. So it doesn't turn you off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, contradiction, man. Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, Chris. 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 You do things. Come on, man. Just Excuse me. You played yourself. Come on, you played yourself, man. <laughs> right, Come on, man. Yo, let's go to Rumble, guys, Come by on. the way.